Hello and welcome to today's video. So today's video is a pack and prep with me. My toddler and I are headed to New York to visit family for about 10 days. Sunscreen, yeah. My little girl's right below me. Yes, thank you. Sunscreen. <laughs> Um, yeah, we are just getting ready to um, fly out to New York to visit family. Um, however, this time it's just going to be me and her. So normally it's me, my ah. husband Bernard, and my toddler Ailey, who is almost three. Um, and normally, you know, we make the visit, we do like long trips, you know, we see family, we do whatever. And this one's a little bit different just because of circumstances. It's just going to be me and her. So that's the one thing I'm preparing for a long flight solo with my toddler, but luckily both of them are evening flights. So like the flight going there is a red eye and then the flight coming back is an evening flight. It's not really a red eye, but um, we pretty much will like land at like midnight coming back. So anyway, um, so we're gonna start with toiletries first because we honestly don't have to bring that much. Luckily, we I keep a lot of like duplicates or like extra things at my parents' house because we do visit them, um, you know, more often um, than not like, it's not like a once a year thing, it's like multiple times a year. So I do keep some things that I know can like just stay there and live there. So um, we're gonna start with the easiest thing, honestly, because um, we fly out tomorrow, like I said, and I am not going to like do my makeup or anything. So I'm going to pack up my makeup. So let's get to do that. So this is normally where I keep the, you know, my everyday makeup in here. But this, this pouch is big and it's not even like, like this is not even like full. So, any. Um, so I'm going to like shrink that down to just the essentials. And I actually did my makeup already. So I kind of got the feeling of like what I wanted to bring um because we are doing some things while we're there it's not like we're just like chilling out the whole time there are some events and like whatever so um the first thing I'm gonna pack is this new cushion compact that I got um I just tested out it is a little bit light but like good for my face it's just my body's just a little bit darker right now because of the summertime and being outside and stuff but it's fine i actually really like it it gives a nice glow and um it's not so off where it looks ridiculous so i'm i really like it and i'm gonna bring this so we're bringing this and luckily it fits there you go this is my blush my little blush brush this is technically a foundation brush I think I don't know it was like one of those like free things um from Sephora so I use it for my blush and it's just like a smaller brush to carry around so that's good my eye glitter because I can't travel without that that's an everyday eyelash curler and mascara um I am going to bring my concealer and brush just in case um, I don't want to do like an actual like foundation base. I'm gonna bring this brown eyeliner. It's not like the best at like staying like on. It has like a little like smudger at the end and I really like to use that. So I'm gonna bring that one. I am sort of tempted to bring my tinted moisturizer. Cause I do have space, I have space. It's not like I don't have space. So I might bring this in case, just in case I want to switch it up. Instead of my regular eyelash curler, I'm going to bring my travel one, which is this little guy. So it's just like, um, you unfold here and then you just press down like that to use it. That's what we're gonna bring. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. So this is all the makeup. So we got that. That's good. That's done. Okay. So next up, we're going to tackle like um, like skincare, toiletries, that kind of stuff. Because the only like last minute thing I'll have to pack are toothbrushes, and yeah, that'll be it. So let's see. Let's see. Okay. So a few things I'm bringing. Oh, 
normally I would bring a little brush, but we have a brush at my mom's, so we don't actually need that, so that's good. Um, these are our little toothbrush covers that we always use. Bring that. Bring my body glide for chafing. Got sunscreen. So this is the one that I'm currently using, but it's like pretty much like it's pretty good, like empty enough. And I think it'll be enough to get me through this trip. And then I can toss this bottle um, there. Um, I am packing this um, deodorant spray. Um, I'm packing one of my hair rollers for my bangs. Um, I luckily do have hair tools at my parents' house, so I don't need to bring any of those, so that's really good. I use the Revlon, oh, I forgot the exact name, but um, the Revlon like Air Curler, it's like the Dyson dupe, um, but it's like shaped like a curling iron. I use that, and then I have like the Revlon like the blowout tool, so I'm good in terms of that. Um, I'm packing a Tide to Go pen just in case. I don't need it there, but just to have like in my possession. Um, because also I don't think I mentioned I am doing carry on only. And I am packing a little bit differently than I would normally pack. So when we get to that, you'll see kind of what my thought process is, but that's, that's what's going. So we're carry on only. And then a few things that I am like packing like travel size versions of are my makeup remover my moisturizer for my face and Ailey's toothpaste, my toddler's toothpaste. Um, the reason for that is because I don't, I've thought about like leaving things there before, um, but it like kind of doesn't work out and then I end up having like multiple things open and then like they end up expiring or whatever. So anyway, um, but these are actually already like filled. I think what I might do is this one's like, like partially filled. So I might, what I might actually end up doing is there's like not that much left in here. This is what this moisturizer is. I might just fill this up and just bring this and then just toss this here. So I think that's the plan for that. Um, and then the last thing is going to be my leave-in conditioner. I have this travel one from Way that I use. Um, the only, the last thing I'm kind of like thinking about, um, I do have to pack like a couple of like hair accessories, like hair ties and stuff for alien stuff, which I will do right now. Um, oh, and then I have floss picks there for Ailey's. I'm just gonna pack just some extra hair ties. So these are the ones that we use. Got four of those. I'll pack a hair tie for me. And then I will bring like my clip, but I'll have this like, um, like on my bag, like the day of, bring these little things to hold back my bangs. So that's one in there. Um, oh, I have to bring my toddler's nail clippers because we need those. So that'll go in here. I was like, should I bring a hair clip for my toddler? Yeah, you know what, we're gonna bring it. We're gonna bring this one because this one will just work with everything. So we're gonna bring that one. I'm going to bring my trusty black bow hair clip. Um, because I will, I foresee myself using that at one point. So now my only last thing is, oh, and I don't think I've shown this. So I got this little spinner. It's like a pencil cup spinner, but it's Karomi, it's cute. And I saw um, Karen on YouTube, I am Karen O um, on YouTube, use this for like her products. And I was like, that's a genius idea. So I pretty much copied this from her. Like I think this is the same fan she uses. So I have like my skincare fan, I have my Medicube Aeroshot, I have a skin mister, and then my Medicube Booster H. This is so cute. I actually got this off of Timu, and it's literally just like, has like a little bunny in there. You fill the little tank with water, turn it on, and it mists. Mmm, so nice. So anyway, so I'm contemplating, I'm not gonna bring the fan, I don't need like the fan, but I'm contemplating bringing these because I do want to keep using them, so I think right now I will pack them. Um, well, I'll definitely pack this the the air shot first because I don't intend. I don't. I have no plans to use it between now and leave. I'm probably going to use this tonight, so I won't pack this yet. Um, but I, the plan is to bring it. I think because I want to keep using it just to you know. Because I'm also like not. I haven't made like a consistent routine with it yet. So anyway, that's what I'm saying is that I think I'm going to bring it and yeah, 
Oh, you know what I do need? I need to bring one of my serums. Mm. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna bring my hair styling serum, but that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about like a skin serum. Is this one, I think this one's, no, this is not too big, but because, so this Clarins double serum, has like um it's like a double thing whatever so it gets kind of like messy like it's not oily but that oily feeling so i don't want to bring that but <sighs> should i open a new serum i wasn't planning on it but i kind of feel like i need to because i don't i need a serum All right, maybe i will bring this medicube at triple called in serum um because I, I can't not have a serum and I can't really put the other one in like a travel thing. So, okay, you know what? I'm going to bring this one. I think I have the space for it. I honestly think I do. So I, I'm i going to bring it. Um, all right, here we go. This is what we're doing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys what I'm doing because I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's pack this up. So I just started putting things in here, but it's not ready to be in here. Um, I guess I can... Yes, baby. Can I, uh, I think I can fit, just like shove this bow in here, honestly, because it's not like it wrinkles or anything, so I think this, this is fine in here. Okay, that's fine, okay. Um, there's that, all right. So I think we'll put my makeup on the bottom like this, then the Cadence products, my hair serum, and then this serum, hair conditioner, or leave-in conditioner, body glide, sunscreen, a hair roller, deodorant, and then the air shot, and then the booster will go right on top with the toothbrushes. And I think that's good. I think that's good. So I think this is more or less like set, so it just kind of looks like this. Um, then I will, I'll put like the last minute things in here, obviously tomorrow when we actually leave. So that's what we got going on there. Okay, hello. So it is the next day. We did it. <laughs> it is travel day, but that's going to be a whole separate thing. But we are continuing the packing. So right now we're going to do the clothes. So luckily. We don't have to bring a ton of clothes one because we can do laundry and two um we're all, we're going for a shorter time so i wanted to just quickly just go over the things that we're bringing okay so nothing is super organized right now but um i've got a couple dresses for me and i also have a couple matching dresses for ailey i've got like maybe like four like outfits in this pile here lots of neutrals so that way it's like easy to like mix and match if I needed to. I've got like some Ailey stuff. So we've got like three dresses, a sweater, and then some matching sets. She's wearing one. And then I also have one like packed in the emergency, like little thing that I bring. So those are the clothes. So the plan, oh, and then like I have a bunch of stuff over here. So it's like our, you know, underwear, socks, um, some more of Ailey's clothes, like matching sets, shorts, skirts, all that stuff. Um, some suits, those things. Um, so all of this is going to go into that packing queue there and all of this stuff here because then I've got like our first aid kit, our travel kit, sunglasses, chargers, cords, all that. Um, this is stuff that I'm bringing that I'm planning to leave in New York. Like to, it's either like gifts or like whatever. So I just kind of put that all in there so it's together. Um, this is what I was talking about, the emergency kit. This is like Ailey's like extra clothes, bib, wet bag, all that stuff is in here. All of this. And oh, and then plus like, this is like my like everyday bag that I'm gonna pack away. Um, all of that is going to go into this carry-on because we're doing carry-on only. Um, and then I have the Stokey over here, which we will get to later. But for right now, we're gonna pack all this up and make sure everything can fit into that carry-on. <laughs> thing that 
that's missing is toiletry bag, which is gonna go there. And then just like a couple of small things that I just need to throw in. But otherwise, we're looking good. I may need to expand or just maybe just readjust this because it's like fatter than I thought it was gonna be. The other option is I might just ditch the packing cube and repack it in here actually now that I look at it. Yeah, you know what? I might just do that. Let's see how that works instead. Yeah, so I don't know if you can tell, but that's actually much better and saves me from having to bring a packing cube, honestly. So that's gonna work. Okay, so <clears throat> now that this suitcase is like mostly taken care of, we're going to work on the bed box. So the plan is to treat this like an actual carry-on. Um, but first I need to make sure I'm like using up the space like the right way. So, um, I have seen, I didn't realize you could do this, but it kind of makes sense now that I think about it. You could actually have this kind of like pre set up and I'm sorry, you can't see my face. It's just cause I, I'm like trying to show what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, okay. That's a little bit better. All right. So yeah, I've seen people just kind of pre like set this up like this like this so like this is already snapped on and then they have because there's like i think they're using this or they did something where i've seen like people like roll this up let's see hold on maybe they just went like this and then, oh, and then maybe they use this to connect it? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> well, you know what, this, this works. So we're gonna try to shove this towards the bottom here. So it's like on just like the one half side. Then the rest of the things that are gonna go in here, we're going to put in my little, my daughter's like little emergency kit. So that's gonna go in here like this, I think. We're, we're gonna see how this all actually plays out. Um, we're gonna put in her activities. So I've got like her princess sticker sheet. That's gonna go in here. I've got some extra like new toys and things and like activities and more toys in here. That's gonna go here. Does it fit? Oh, it fits, okay. That's it, that's looking good. <laughs> um, that's in there. I have her potty seat, which fit right there. Then I have wipes and her sling, so the sling, maybe this will go in first, and then the wipes, hmm. Sling, can I fit the wipes? It's, okay, hold on, readjusting. Sling, over here. Sling's gonna go here. Okay, that's better, okay, good. And then wipes are gonna go right here. Okay, so this is like pretty full. Um, the one downside was I am planning to bring my toddler's little like nap blanket thing just to make the the um, the plane ride more comfortable. I was going to try to fit it into here. That doesn't look like it's gonna happen, but that's okay because. There is a strap, so I think I could just hook this onto um, my carry-on and it should be fine. So, all right, let's just make sure this guy closes. <laughs> all right, so we go like, so, okay. So that's, that's pretty good. Like, it's in there, it's good. It's not super, super heavy, um, but it's secure, nothing's bulging. And I do have a little, little Mickey keychain here attached. Um, so that's, yeah, okay, I feel better. So, um, oh, what I didn't show <laughs> is, 
so there is a little compartment up here, right? So you can like, uh, which way is it? This way? No, this way. Hmm? Hold on. I always forget how this works because I haven't used it yet, but um, I think it's... Is it this way? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I got it. So there is this little oh, compartment in here. And what I saw people do is I saw them put like snacks and stuff in here. And I was like, that's a really good idea. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some snacks in here. Um, and then basically, cause most likely we won't need the snacks, but if we need them, I know they're right here. But yeah, so I'm gonna, let's go, let's go fill this up with the snacks. <laughs> okay, I was gonna do this downstairs, but my husband is like doing something. So I just brought the snacks up, sorry. First thing that's gonna go in here, well, we'll see, because <laughs> I literally have not tested this out. This might not fit. Let's just, we're gonna try to, oh, oh my God, it fits. Oh my God, it fits. Can you see? Like it, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, my, the plan is to put my toddler's water ball in here and it is empty. Hold on, let me just make sure this closes. Put this in here. Works. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, so the water bottle's gonna go in here because I'm gonna fill it after we go through security, obviously. Um, and then I have some snacks that I've gathered here. Hold on. I need to like okay, yeah, you can take that. All right. So we've got we got some goldfish. That's gonna go in here. We've got some um, little, they're basically like little chocolate mushrooms, but like a Choco Boy thingy um, snack. It's a Korean snack. Um, we're gonna fill this with some little gummies. These are just like the Disney Mickey and Friends gummies. We're gonna put some gummies in here. We're gonna put a couple bars. I've got an ABC bar from Trader Joe's and just like a chocolate chip chewy bar. So we're gonna put these in here think maybe towards the back like yeah like that okay that's good um i got some little strawberry like yogis they're like little dummies but they're a probiotic and they're actually really good so i'm gonna put those in there um i do have like some candies and chocolates I might just keep these in my bag just because I don't want her to find them on her own. Like these are like the emergency like stash that, you know, in case, in case type of deal. So I'm gonna put these in my bag, but, um, and then the last thing is another little Korean snack. This is actually new. It's like little, little whale, um, stuff, but it's like, it's actually pretty good. I've never had it before. I've never even seen it before, but it came in like a pack with like little mushrooms and little Choco Boy thingies. Um, and it's pretty good. So if she doesn't eat it, I will. <laughs> so, all right. So all that is going to go in here. Like, so like, look how, wow. Like that is, that is good. That is good. All right. So I'm going to close this guy up and that's it. That's close. It's in. Oh my God. It's so exciting. I'm like really excited about this. Okay, good. And then, so we're just gonna, all right. This guy's gonna get closed up. And we are ready to roll with this one. Oh, wow, that's exciting. Okay, I feel good about that, nice. All right, so that's done. <laughs> so in terms of the snap map, it is kind of big. So I'm thinking what I might do is I found or I saw this thing on Instagram, I think, where this is like something it's like camping gear. It's basically to like compress like a sleeping bag or something like that. And it just like looked so awesome. And people were like using it to pack like a week's worth of clothes into like a backpack for like, you know, a trip or whatever. So 
I'm gonna, I did, I did try this out once and it does actually compress it, it makes it fit. So like it goes from like this to maybe about like half the size or maybe like two thirds. Um, but that might just be a little bit easier to maneuver. So through the airport, so I might, hold on, let's, 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 let's test it out. <laughs> so you basically just shove it in here, shove, shove, shove. So this is for reference, um, the small size, the, the knapsack or thingy compressor. I don't even know what you would call this. Um, I'll have it linked in case you are interested. Um, I'll have like everything that I can link linked below if you are interested in anything that I'm showing today. But um, yeah, so then you just kind of push it in there like so. And then there's a drawstring here to close it up so that it's in. And I tuck, tuck, tuck this in there so that it's, you know, so there's like straps and then like another end so you basically just pull this like top over the other side like so and then you just buckle it up like this and then like this and you can already see that it's gotten like quite a bit smaller but we're gonna make it even smaller now so what you do is you just literally just pull on the straps like one two three and four like i think i can get this even smaller let's see four. and i'm also just sort of like tucking it back in so that it kind of holds the shape. So it's not just bulging out everywhere, but okay. So yeah, I mean, can you tell it's like half the size? So it really just like smushed down. And I think this will just be a little bit easier to <laughs> like take through. And then it was like, it's like, so it's super easy and it makes it just a little bit more compact. So now that that's done, I'm gonna just kind of I'm gonna close everything up and show you kind of the end result of all of this. <laughs> okay, so while I was closing things up, I realized it just, I didn't like the way things were like bulging and like whatever, cause it fit, it did, it just didn't fit like comfortably. So I decided to vacuum seal my clothes. However, they don't look very vacuum sealed right now. So <laughs> hold on a second. Did I lose some air? Let's try this again. Hold on. Like, is there a hole or something somewhere? I thought I closed this up pretty well. Let's try it. Let's just try to take out a little bit more air again. Yes. I didn't like how everything was kind of bulging out. So I decided to vacuum seal my clothes. I left my daughter's clothes as is. So we'll see how this kind of plays out. But it's also because I forgot I had to put my laptop in. So, all right. It's still bulging. You know what I might do? Okay. Round two, hold on. The last thing I'm packing is just my personal item. This is my purse. This is the purse I decided to take. Um, I was originally gonna do like my fanny or whatever, but I realized this might make more sense um, just overall. But anyway, so that is that is what it is. Anyway, what's going on in this bag? All right, so I've got my sunglasses, my little travel pouch, emergency candy, AirPods, lip balm, um, little wisp, uh, toothpaste thingies, my wallet, some sunscreen stick, um, a lip um, 
lip glow. It's technically a bomb, but I just, I didn't want to, um, I wanted one that was colored and one was not. <laughs> um, some hair clips for my bangs, a hair tie, hand sanitizer, and a bunch of this is going to go into this pouch. So let's throw this all into the bag. And there it is. So it's nice and packed up. It's got tons of room. So I'm gonna like throw like my phone and my camera right on top when like we're all done. Um, the very last thing that I need to pack is my daughter's iPad or like our iPad, whatever. Um, and that's gonna go in the Stokey cause I can just slide that in. So that's gonna be good. But otherwise, that is it. So this is the final product. So here it is. We've got the Stokey for my daughter. That's my carry-on. My neck rest pillow. That is her nap blanket right on top. And then my personal bag right there. And that is what we are taking to New York. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little prep and pack with me. Um, like I said, anything that I can link will be in the description box. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video so you can stay tuned for all of the vlogs to come. And yeah, you know, this wish us luck on this, this solo mom and toddler flight. Hopefully little miss will just sleep the whole way through. That would be so good. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Just loving this moment. Can we stay here?